Good morning, guys. It's uh, cold as you can see, eh, minus 10 in Canadian units. So I'm gonna go out today, I'm gonna burn some brush. It is really damn cold out. Uh, so I don't know if I'll be out there super long. I'll probably do a time lapse or something. But uh, I think I'm gonna grab a quick coffee today, hit the old uh, Tim Hortons and uh, drive on out and we'll go see if we can get burned today if we can even get a fire going. We've gotten, oh, I don't know, foot and a half of snow, I'm gonna say in the past few days, maybe week. So <clears throat> it's pretty miserable. Uh, I see my windshield wipers falling apart, so I'm gonna have to change that too. So anyways, I will see you out there and we'll get her going today. Well, as you guys can see, this is gonna suck. We got a ton of snow here. So up we go. I'm not too sure what the plan of attack's gonna be. But we'll get, I gotta go in here and get the tripod out, so. Otherwise, I wouldn't really bother even going in today. But whatever. Better watch my step, freaking break an ankle on this crap here. Hoi. Okay. Well, so much to do, so little time. Always get the wrong key for this. You know how it is. Always get the wrong key, brah. Okay, sorry. Put my fingers in the way. Alright. Alright. Okay. Make sure everything's okay. Getting set up for the warmer months, hopefully. Soon, man. I'm tired of this. So, let's take this out. We'll get set up. Let's just lock this door back up again. There we go. Oh man, it's cold out, guys. Sorry, I don't have my uh, chest mount on. It's cold though. Eat is a cold keys. We'll lock this back up. Now, I think I'll take the tripod with me when I go this time. Okay, so we're all locked up and secure. Okay. Yeah, Grandma's always paranoid of someone uh, coming in at night, so she put that as a secondary latch on here. I don't know why. Back back here, no one would do anything. But what the hell is going on? This wood must be busted there. The door won't close all the way, but whatever. All right, let's go. So I'm going to... Try to burn a little bit today. I'm gonna have to shovel a path. And maybe I'm gonna start on this one, I think, because there's a lot of dead stuff in there. So hopefully I can nip up enough to make some kindling. And we'll get a little fire going here and burn some of this crap today. And then uh, the next day when there's gonna be people here, I'm gonna try to burn that one and the big uh, stuff in the backyard. So, but you can already tell it's gonna be kind of poopy, so. But uh, we'll just, uh, we'll do what we can do, and that's going to be that. So I'm going to get this set up and start burning a little bit, guys, and then I'll uh, bring you back again. Uh, yeah, it's cold. It's Canada. It's wintertime. See you in a bit. We'll say the snow is light and fluffy, so it shouldn't be too bad to make a little spot here and uh, get some cooking. In fact, I don't think I need to shovel a spot. I think I'll throw one of those skids down, and uh, it'll save me shoveling that. And then when I start burning... Then I can make a little path surround to all the wood piles. Let's do that. We can wrestle one of these out of here. Uh, I'll tilt you guys this way so you can watch me struggle because I'm sure that's uh, everyone likes that part. Go get a skid. A rolling we will roll. Roll. I hold a dairy or a rolling we will roll. Okay. It's probably how they figured out how to invent the wheel. Like, hey, if we take corners off this, it might actually roll properly. I guess this is probably a pretty good spot here, fellas. 
Uh, so I'm gonna go more towards the middle. So if the snow does go soon and we get a chance to get a bin here. I don't wanna be uh, on a bunch of nails where we're gonna be driving. Hey. Yeah. Trying to think. Uh, see, it might be better to put it over there. Because there's uh, screws and nails in these uh, skids. Let's uh, put it right over here. And don't hate me for burning this crap, dude. Uh. I'm sure this is probably worth some, a little bit of money, but uh, it's mostly full of scrap wood and uh, sandpaper now, so we'll use that as kindling. Okay. Tilt you guys back. I'm going to head back to the truck, get some stuff. Just like Rocky Four, man. It's a chilly today. Ooh, sunshine girl. Pam Anderson, new kid rock, marriage was doomed from start. Talking. Okay, so put a bunch of newspaper down here. Hopefully this. Uh, hopefully this will start. Um, there's a lot of snow on this stuff, but it's mostly just powdery snow, so I'm hoping it'll just fall off. Can shake it off and cut it up. Should be enough dead stuff in there to get going, anyways. This is how you guys start a fire. This is how we always used to do it. Newspaper, kindling, away you go. She's really stubborn. We used to put some little bit of. Uh, Gasoline or diesel, probably not the most intelligent thing to do. So. Damn it! I'm gonna lose that there. But uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna have a big bonfire here in the next few days, guys. Uh, it'd probably be about a, a week's time. But uh, should be pretty fun. Just get a bunch of friends and family out and. Maybe make some hot dogs or something. Or man, they freaking get it nice and hot. Let me get this going and should be pretty good. I should brought some hot dogs out here today. Was not plan on staying too too late, but. We'll never know. Oh, by the way, if you guys haven't subscribed, I notice I do have a lot of returning viewers. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, it helps the channel. Um, this is going to take up a lot of time. It's going to take me a, away from the family a lot. And uh, juggling this, being a stay-at-home dad, working full-time as a realtor. Um, it is hard, too, so I would really appreciate a... A sub if you guys are liking it. Uh, I'm learning as I go with editing. I'm trying to make them better. Um, I guess I'm just a just a small town guy. You can see where I grew up here. Nothing fancy. I don't think I'll get crazy editing videos or anything. Uh, more raw content, I would say. But uh, I do enjoy being out here, so. and uh, I like having you guys here to chit chat. With. Maybe sometime. Maybe we'll do a live stream on the, uh, the Sunday. That might be cool. I'm going to take this back up here. Save this. We'll get a little, some free on this first before we start it. Uh, hopefully we can find some uh, smaller stuff and uh, we'll see if we can find some dead stuff. Is what I'd like to do. This stuff's not super dead, but it'll burn, I'm sure. She'll get going here. Hey. Damn it. Got some stinking thorn tree here. It's gonna be a 
bit of a pain in the butt. Keep on keeping on. Oh, I get this thing too raging either. So. Get her hot enough to make a nice continuous fire and then we can uh, burn here for a few hours and get rid of some of this crap. It'd be a pain in the butt getting that stuff out of the backyard to burn, but can only do so much. Stuff's still a little green, even though it's been sitting for a while. This viney crap should, should go up pretty good, though. Hopefully, if it, when it burns to the skid, it doesn't put the uh, fire out. I guess we'll find out, guys. Should have probably shoveled underneath it. Smart man would have done that. Ooh, he's freaking thorn trees, dude. Yeah, still pretty green. Hope she burns. Just gonna throw a few older uh, dead stuff on it, and then we'll get this going, hopefully. See an, an old dead tree here, so. Let's see if we get it out. Get the snow off it. This one's way more. This one's been dead a little while, so should go up pretty good. Go with the end of the TP method. One's got their own way of doing her. This is always the way we did her. So just uh, go out hunting in that when it was cold weather like this. Camp a little bit in the snow. Like a wishbone. Main thing is to get some of the bigger stuff going, and uh, once it's going, we'll be pretty solid, so I won't worry too much about the uh, little bit of snow getting on or anything. So hopefully, she goes. Not have to bring out some gas next time or something. Okay. Laters, and all of them are acting up. So this could be bad. We will see. That's the way she goes doing this stuff. Definitely have to remember to bring some better lighters next time. Or matches. Hopefully she burns, guys. Lighters are kaputski. Don't think they're gonna work anymore. She's sizzling though. Um, oh, I love the smell of burning wood. Hopefully there's enough heat to get some of this wet stuff going. Get her cooking and dry. 
flying out. Small enough she should go. I hope. No, she's not going super great. We'll see. Some small stuff on her and hope for the best, guys. We can do today. See it dries this stuff out at the top. going to be close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know, guys. Should have brought some propellant. This stays going, it'll be a miracle. Can't believe that other little kindling didn't go. It's very surprising. Definitely gonna smell like smoke when I get home. Hopefully she dries out.
around for a few minutes. Throw my coffee. Start throwing some more stuff on it. The sap's really coming out of the old, uh, I think those are little cedar trees. It was weird being back here by myself. Not gonna lie. Weird when you leave somewhere for such, such a long period of time. Like I, like I said, I probably moved out in 92, 93. So it's been, I don't know, what, 30 years, I guess. And uh, hey, you look around and then you just, you remember parts of your life, like your childhood and your family, and yeah, it's, you have good memories, but it's also depressing, like how much has changed and how much you've lost. Try not to get too philosophical here, but it's uh, difficult. I don't think I would have the motivation as much to be out here. If it wasn't for you guys, which I really do appreciate, so thank you very much. Because uh, it's just nice being able to talk. I'm pretty silly sitting out here talking by myself. Lots of snowplow guys making some money today. Oh, uh, looks like that cedar's catching fire. Should get off my lazy butt and throw some stuff on it. Get it rip roaring a little bit and burn a big chunk of this. Get most of the front yard cleared out anyway. And then going to the backyard, there's so much. It's going to be really irritating. And I don't want it there for summer because it's going to be full of ticks and snakes and bugs. And just... I don't know what to do, guys. Any suggestions would be good. I mean... There's so many tree roots in the ground now. Like, hey, what do you do? You bring in a skid steer. I don't know how you deal with that. So I'm going to have to talk to the contractor bros. Speaking of which, my one contractor's been, uh, been doing keto. He's been doing really well with it. He's lost like 40 pounds. I did keto back in the 2000s. I lost a lot of weight. It's hard to, uh, I was probably on it for seven or eight years, but I just got so annoyed with eating the same things over and over again, so, which is ironic because I really like that stuff, but I, it's hard giving up the bread and stuff, man, I'm like, you know, pizza, burgers, fries are probably my favorite things, you know, even though they're not healthy, but we tried the cauliflower crust and all that stuff, and it just doesn't hit the same. I wish you could feel the heat off this fire. Awesome. So, get up before the back gets too creaky. I'll start throwing some stuff on here. Oh! And we'll keep this as the burn pile for for now. Start putting some bigger stuff on it. Try to clear it out of here. Then I'm going to myself my own trees. went up pretty good actually. Haul oh. it in stack and
Yeah, stupid me. Right here with a campfire, I could have stopped and grabbed a package of hot dogs or something, but brought a friggin' Atkins friggin' protein bar. How unsatisfying is that? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely blown through the bottom. Hopefully she keeps going. We'll see. Oh man. This stuff is still pretty hard. Doesn't want to comply. Smells smells real bad. Dude. It's gonna take forever, man. This take forever. What are you doing with the vines? Yeah, I thought this would get rip roaring a little bit more, but I guess the wood's so wet it's just not gonna go. dry and quick enough. Baby keeps on going.
Oh, she fell through, fellas. Hopefully she keeps going or the day's gonna be over. This stuff's burning pretty good, so I think she might keep her going. We'll see. Think we're screwed. Throw some on that. I think I'm gonna bring this one down here, guys. So that should burn, man. Tons of coals down there. Should be burning. I think what's happened is there's a, a gap between the skid and the other fires went out. Might be foobard for this.
There. Okay. Well, we'll do the safe thing and put this out for good. For now, back out in a few days and we're all again. I'm not too worried about this uh, red anywhere because there's nothing but snow. You always want to be safe. I have the old back guys. That's a seller of my distinguished team. Be enough water, water on her. So I wanted to wait till there's a bunch of snow, so. Just do this when I'm leaving. Not worry about it too much. <laughs> I think it's still smoking. It's filled in. Just I want to be sure. I'm... Okay, fellows and fellowettes. Yes, I'm wearing a car hurt too. I'm a hipster. It's actually Marlowe's. Ah, uh, a little dent in that. Really sucks. I was hoping to, uh, Hit this one a little bit longer, but it is what it is. We'll uh, can only do so much at a time, I guess. Uh, definitely be bringing a can of gas and a little jar. Don't worry, I'll be doing it safely. I've done it a million times in my life, so we'll get her going. My stupid boots untied again, but who cares? Who cares, right? I'm gonna set you guys here and talk for a second. That looked really weird. So we'll get this baby put away. This truck is such a mess, man. Unbelievable. But uh, you know, a little bit done. I need to get the back to work out here. I've been kind of slacking a little bit. Uh, just winter blues, I suppose. I am human, so. We're uh, getting all our stuff in a row here. Um, I'm actually quite happy with where we're at, with the, with the property. I didn't think we'd be this far along. I was a little overwhelmed when I took it over. I should have just breathed a little bit and not been in such a hurry to uh, get like everything done. But if you know me in, in uh, person in real life, that's just how I am with a lot of stuff. Once I start something, I want to get it done. But I have to take a step back and realize that this is not going to be one of those things where I can just, you know, come in like HGTV Mike Holmes and be like, yeah, let's get her done. And then an hour later, you got a, a new house in there. It's just not going to, it's not going to happen that way. Uh, but yeah, but we'll come back in a couple of days. I do apologize. The fire went out. That's it sucks, but it is what it is. So I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to head back into town, spend a little time with my son my mom's watching him, like I said. So we'll spend the day with him. We'll have a good day. Get daughter off the bus, do a little work stuff. And uh, we'll see you on the flip side. I hope everyone's having an awesome day. And if you're living in a warm climate, I'm jelly. Bye.